Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of my Civilization Beyond Earth playthrough playing as Integer on Rising Tide and today I think the first thing I'm going to do is bring this cruiser back to Velt guys because it doesn't look like the piece is going to last very long in this one. My relationship is dwindling with Ark, Franco-Iberia and Brasilia so things aren't looking great in terms of diplomacy but they are looking good in terms of expansion. I think we've picked very good places for our settlements and they will prove to be a force to be reckoned with when I start producing units for wars. So that's kind of what I'm counting on in this one. We are going to be relatively warlike after our settlements have got to the point where they can grow very quickly and produce units very quickly. So let's move on this cutter and we'll go straight on to the next turn. Looks like CEO Suzanne Building is liking my military strength. But Reginaldo de Alencar downgraded our relationship from cooperative to neutral. It has been said, the point of war is not to die for your country, but to make your enemy die for theirs. A goal which is more readily accomplished if your side never has to take the field. So tactical robotics has been complete and we can now build CNDRs and spy satellites. We have proven that the computer is a good tool. Why can it not also be a good advisor? Level 5 supremacy reached. Uh, with harmony we'll get plus 5 health. So in Eintracht, uh, what are we going to build? Probably a laboratory. And for our research, we're now going to research computing because that will give us access to the missile rover which can then be upgraded to an artillery and we can use that to take over the Franco-Iberian settlements eventually. I'm pretty set on attacking Franco-Iberia to be honest. If you guys hadn't noticed that already. <laughs> so we've run into another inlet there. But I'm trying to explore as much of the top side of the map as possible because that's often where the resource pods are that haven't been found by the AI just yet. So our affinity is too different for us to be friends with Frank Iberia anyway, so Reginaldo de Alan Carr has downgraded his relationship again from neutral to sanction. And at Demut, we need to build a clinic, I think, sooner than later, but before that, an old earth relic. And I'm actually going to go in here and purchase the farmer lab with energy wasn't quite what I intended but will work anyway uh, then in the next settlement we can purchase a farmer lab in Blauwald with a diplomatic capital so people aren't gonna really like me for having good health but they just like me less for having bad health that's what seems to have happened so far and that's why I had so many complaints about unhealth but um, I don't think it really made a difference at the end of the day. So Hitama wants us to trade with other nations. Maybe we can trade with him. But Chung Su declared war on me. No idea why. They are actually nowhere near me. And it seems quite silly in this game how that works. I think it just your relationship with an AI just downgrades enough that you can just go to war with them automatically. Like that's just how it seems to work. There's no logical reason for them to, to, to declare war on me right now. Because for all I know they're nowhere near me. But what I'm going to do is get this repair facility going in Weisheit and I need to get this explorer 
heading towards the sunken spacecraft. And uh, I'm just going to heal up this cutter as well, in case it gets attacked by any Changsu units. But yeah, like I'm saying, it's just... It seems illogical. What used to happen is, like, you would see AI building up, like, a force on your border, and that would tell you that there was going to be a war, basically, <laughs> because they would eventually attack you. Whereas now, it's it just seems so random. But either way, this explorer, I think I might actually bring it back to Demut and uh, leash this manticore and raptor bug. That actually seems like quite a good idea. Because for those of you who don't know, alien units don't cost any maintenance. So having as many aliens as I want is actually not a bad thing. So I thought this would happen. I was I saw this happening a mile off. He degraded his relationship with us uh, over two turns. And yeah, now he's just going to go straight to war with me. So let's get my forces to Demut as soon as possible. And I might take a unit down to Vacha or Vacha as soon as possible. So yeah, let's get the, the cruiser, well the armor to Demut. The cruiser to Demut. This marine can head down to Vakta and the raptor bug can head up to Demut as well. Right, let's get my explorer back. Next turn he can leash and this gunner can head to Weisheit and we need to produce more military units, so a CNDR in Weltgeist and I think a CNDR in Castellan as well. I'm going to take this attack jet and rebase it to Weisheit and at Blauwald we're going to get an old earth relic and I'm going to purchase with Diplomatic Capital the Pharma Lab. Okay. And the other thing we can do is, like, next turn, purchase units with diplomatic capital. Maybe not next turn, but in a couple turns to help defend against Brasilia. That's if they mobilize to actually attack me. Because there is a very real possibility that they won't even do that. Same thing with Chung Su. Like, they're over here. I think they are literally halfway around the world from me. So it's unlikely to see them attack me anytime soon. And we've been declared war on by Franco-Iberia. Okay, things not looking great. <laughs> I'm pretty confident in myself, to be fair. I don't think we have to be too worried about this. We did just lose a worker to Frank Iberia. I'm probably going to get this Raptor Bug to come over and attack that as well. We'll get this Marine to stay. And let's move my Explorer, a tile unleash this manticore. That manticore can then move into Demut to defend it. And I'll take this explorer to Weisheit and we'll keep up with this raptor bug hopefully. For our production in Eintracht we are going to have to build some military so a marine it is and I think I'm going to try and escape with that sea dragon. Don't know whether to rebase this to Weltgeist. 
to help against the Franco-Iberians. Maybe just Castellan for now. And um, I'm just going to get the Scarab to go back up to Vakta. And that should do for now. So, shit has hit the fan. And I'm not quite sure who's, who my ally is going to be throughout this game. Uh, but so far, it looks like the Pan Asians like me for something. But uh, we are at war with all of our neighbours. Looks like Hutama might be attacking us soon as well. But we have a quest decision to create a trade route from step mining. That could be something I want to do. Do I have a trade convoy there? Oh, yeah, I do. I have trade convoys from all my settlements so far that can have them. We've got veterancy gained for this marine, so let's discipline that. This cruiser, I'm going to have to bring back down to the Franco-Iberians. Let's attack this armor with the tack jet. And then I might be able to kill it off. If I attack it with the marine first, and then the raptor bug, that might leave my raptor bug vulnerable. But I think it's worth trading a raptor bug for an armor. Even if the raptor bug is technically my mascot right now. <laughs> For those of you who've watched my previous Civ campaigns will know that the raptor bug or a raptor bug that I found in an expedition, that it's always like sort of being my little mascot. And this time we're putting him in a risky position, 119 turns in. Not going to really worry about these sea dragons for now. Uh, this armor can keep heading up to Demut I think yeah we definitely need military units up there in case the Brazilians decide to take a stroll not very long until our CNDRs pop out and then I think they are going to be very very powerful against the Franco-Iberian armors So let's move that explorer around. Uh, this gunner. I think we're just going to fortify on by side for now. And let's see if Franco Iberia does attack my raptor bug. It looks like they're going straight for Castellan. Okay, I'm going to have to change tack here and bring this armor back, I think. This tack jet. We can use it to attack the armor there. And I'm also going to attack the armor with the settlement. I can't really use these units to defend just yet. But maybe I can distract with this marine. I need the CNDRs ASAP. Is there any way I could buy something? I don't think it's worth buying it in Castellan, because I think Castellan might be lost. So I'm thinking we get a gunner that can support my raptor buck and marine.
And in Weisheit, we are definitely going to get a military unit. A CNDR is what we need. Let's get this gunner to move down as well. I think that's pretty vital right now. We need to defend where our military units are needed. Wow. They have a lot of military units. I don't know if they've just been building up since the last war. But that is scary. Right, I think it might be worth sacrificing this explorer to pick up a raptor bug. Oh, we didn't need to lose the explorer. That works well. Okay. So definitely worth doing there. Uh, we're going to sleep until healed of that tax yet. There's no point in really using it when it's on such low health. And I think it can heal to full health. Did we get the Zenimath bathhouse here? Yes, we did. Okay. So yeah, we can use that. And if I upgrade this marine, can it take out... Castellan? No, it can't. Take out the armor, I meant. At Castellan. Okay, so we'll move on that gunner. This raptor bug. It seriously needs to heal up. So let's sleep that until healed. This manticore, I think I'm going to keep it. At Demut. And we may as well bring up this scarab. Not that I think that it's going to be very useful. We've destroyed that armor. And I'm hoping we'll be okay. This cruiser, I'm going to bring down. Hopefully, if anything comes in range of that, we can attack. Going to get the marine into Veltgeist and try and use that to heal. And this raptor bug, I think, maybe move at all and then heal, although it won't heal in the same turn if I do that. Let's get next to Castellan. And we will sleep that until healed. So, basically, things not looking great. But, if the CNDRs manage to get built, I think there is a strong chance we can win against Franco Iberia. What I'm more scared about is whether or not we can win against Brasilia as well. So let's heal up that explorer. We will sleep the manticore. We will heal the raptor bug. My attack jet is full health again. So let's attack the armor or bombard the armor. We'll do so with this range unit as well. And I'm going to move the marine onto Castellan and heal this turn. Okay, so that's that done. Um, I'm going to bring up this gunner onto that hill tile there. And I'm going to bring forward my armor. Next turn, we'll have one CNDR. The turn after, we'll have another. Then things will start to get fun. What's the deal? Things are definitely bleak, but we must continue. Vachter can work on the old earth relic. 
after the old death relic's actually finished in Blau World, we'll work on the clinic and we'll do the same in Dumut. And then I think that will pretty much cancel out all our unhealth. So let's see if Franco Iberia attacks. They have attacked me, but this is actually bad for them. See, they've attacked me in quite a bad spot because it means I can take out a couple of those units. The computing's now finished and we can start to build artilleries, which will be very, very useful. I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. How much joy can this new planet hold when all I can think of is everything I've left behind? And level one purity reached, right. So at Castella now we are going to work on the missile rover, which is actually an artillery once we upgrade it. And we're going to get plus 30% when attacking cities. We can bombard I'm thinking that armor. Actually, let me just check what can attack what first. Need to kind of work this one out. I don't want my mi military units to be sitting on this miasma tile. So I think what I'm going to do is attack the armor with the settlement. We have a marine here we can bring down. This armor needs to get back into the settlement this turn. So I think what I can do here is attack the armor with the gunner, finish it off with the CNDR, get the armor into Castellan. Why can the CNDR not attack? Oh, we have a marine in there. Well, that's quite awkward, isn't it? Do we sacrifice the marine? I think we make that ranged attack. And I think we sacrifice the marine, put the armor in Castellan. Sleep until healed. And I think that is okay. We do have a wrap spark here that can come down. Four hour of search. I think we need to get something that's going to increase our affinity. So cognition. Maybe just power systems, it will give us 20 affinity XP towards supremacy uh, in six turns. And that will give us probably two affinity levels. So that will be very useful, we'll go up to level 7 supremacy. Right. So things are pretty grim. Franco Iberia, are they going to attack me anywhere? My marine going to get taken out, of course. Right, this marine can come down from Eintracht. And 
In Weisheit, we're going to work on another CNDR. In Eintracht, we're going to work on a repair facility. And in Blauwald, we're going to get the clinic. For our virtue, I think we're going to get the joy from a variety. To get the plus one health for each type of basic resource that is improved. So that will be an extra two health for us. That will improve as the game goes on. Because we will get more different types of basic resources. But here what I'm going to do is attack the brawler, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack the brawler with everything I've got near the settlement. Although I need to think about what I'm going to do on this other side. I'm going to attack this armor with the cruiser. This cutter is fully healed. So let's start bringing that back towards our lands. This tack jet can vet up. And... What is that going to attack? I think I might actually just heal it again. Yeah, I think we'll heal it again. Going to attack this brawler with the raptor bug and then the CNDR. That didn't destroy the unit. God damn. didn't even mean to do that. <sighs> that is shite. Anyway, we're going to kill off that brawler then. That's the best we can do. I can attack the armor with the CNDR. And I think we're doing okay. We lost the marine unit. They've lost a couple of armor units so far. But they're now coming at me with three strikers yeah so although this has been quite a slow episode it's pretty exciting but unfortunately it has been my time and every turn is like balancing on a knife edge at the moment it really is but I think we have a decent chance of pulling this off it's going to be one of the hardest things I've ever done in civilization beyond earth so far but I think we can pull off this war and I think we'll be able to defend against Brasilia afterward they are taking their time to attack me though so that's giving us time to finish off the franco Iberians before we'll probably have to turn around and defend against Brasilia but we'll see you guys and in the meantime thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next episode goodbye